News Now Sports. Good evening, everyone. Tyler Segerman here with you. Shawnee girls basketball is just two days removed from capturing a share of their first WBL title since the 2010-11 season. That year, they finished 18-4, and which previously was the program's best record. Not anymore. The Tribe are 20-1 and this year. Their regular season finale taking place at home against Allen East. First quarter, Zoe Best tips the pass away and takes off to the far end of the court. The sophomore scores a team-high 18. Her layup gives the Indians a quick 5-0 lead. And they're just getting started. Here's Grace Freiberger snagging the steal and has an easy lay-in of her own. Shawnee would lead 14-0 after one. In the second, Ryland Jones slashes to the basket for the Mustangs, but Alan East is still in a 24-6 hole. And Shawnee stays aggressive on defense. Freiburger comes away with another turnover, heads up court, and pushes the Indians' lead up to 22. Shawnee wins 60-52. to The PCL standings not quite finalized yet. Columbus Grove needed a win on the road to grab a share of this year's crown. A loss, and the title would solely belong to Miller City. Opening frame at the launch pad, hometown Rockets passing the ball nicely. Peyton Diller finds Maddie Rush Schilling inside. Her two points give the Rockets an 8-7 lead. Lead, but it won't last long. Brent Fortman gives the rock to Kinsey King, and that's automatic. The senior cashing in, and she can do more than shoot. King faking me out as she fires a dime back to Fortman. That rattles in. Lady Dogs now lead by six. In second quarter, they pull away. Shea Schrader jumps the pass, which leads to an open layup. Columbus Grove wins 73-28 to claim a share of the PCL title. 